Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to assemble a tile wastegate on the unboxing video. I've already opened it previously and kind of looked at it. What they'll send you is a wastegate diagram of how you're supposed to route the wastegate. Here's the wastegate, obviously you want an air supply line from the intake manifold on the positive pressure side. Turbo, the exhaust, discharge the top port on this tile as a MVR is a vent to atmosphere. Installation of a boost controller. You get an air port, the front one, or whatever one you pick. There's multiple ports, I'll show you that in a second. Put your wastegate boost controller right there. On the back it has the valve assembly. This right here, this actuator diaphragm. They explain this, don't you don't want to mess this up. The tile wastegate that I ordered, I already put it together basically. Let's just unbox this here. Is the MVR 44 millimeter. Comes with the V-bands. And I already put a few of the block off ports in. This is the only, or sorry, the first water-cooled wastegate assembly. If you look here, let's see if I can get in the light. It says H2O. This one says air. This is the first line that tile offered with the water cooling. So, basically you have this cup here. Let's see if I can take this off here with one hand. Basically take this V-band clamp off. They give you an insert. This is on the bottom side. It's taped from the factory. There's this insert that you can pull out. This cup insert goes in this bottom. Because if you do not have the cup insert, you will not be able to take the flange and see the seat right there? See that little seat? It will not be able to seat on there correctly without this. Without that, there is no wiggling. And you put the obviously the V-band on there. So make sure you do that. These top set screws you have to take off because tile sends them unassembled with this. I mean, it's assembled with unit, but it doesn't come with the spring. That's where they give you differences to uh, put together. And in the box, they give you tons of different springs. Um, obviously, you don't want to bend these or break them. So they come spray painted, so I'll lay them out all here. So what you have here are the spring assemblies. They're painted. They're spray painted. So if you look on the bottom side, this is yellow obviously, but the bottom, look, it's just a regular copper spring. So you want to make sure that you can see what colors these are if you're colorblind. Blue, red, uh, the plain, black, this one is green, and then a white. So it goes from low boost, red is like 4.8, 4.2 or something like that. It starts at 0.2 bar. This is 5.8 and it just keeps going up and then in a combination of them. It's on Tile's website. I'll put the link in the video description. But I'm going to take this top part off and show you how to do that. Alright, so I uh, put the blue spring in. It's like 5 point something. Um, I didn't video this because these Allens are a pain in the freaking ass. You got to like... Well, obviously there's no spring in here when you first get it, so when you put the spring in there, you put the spring in, you take all these caps off evenly, so it's straight, and you put the spring in, you have to push down on this with like all of your might while you put all of these in and tighten them down evenly to prevent the, uh, the uh, obviously from it going on cockeyed and, and stripping threads and stuff like that. So it's hard to video unless I have like a table camera, which I'm doing this on my phone, but you need a basic Allen set. And the Allen that it is, pretty sure it's metric, it's the 3.0 right here. See the one that's used? A little bit right there, yep. 3.0, you can just pick which spring you want. Um, I'll put on the uh, tile uh, description of their spring colors. These are the fittings. You got the air ones and then the water fittings with the washers and stuff like that and then the block off plates. I also put the block off plates in. I showed you that on the earlier part. But those are tight as well. You got to make sure those are tight. This top port, make sure you have it vent to atmosphere. 
It just says that in the uh, tile book. So uh, that's basically how you assemble a tile MVR 44 millimeter wastegate. And um, I'll show you a video of when I get it welded on my manifold and uh, angle all that on my 1JZ and then we'll go from there. But thanks, uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, tell your friends. Also subscribe to my friend's channel, Motion Auto TV. And uh, just kind of uh, let everybody know. We get some good content out and uh, it's winter build season coming up. So you want you guys to uh, kind of like have some stuff to watch and not be bored when you're putting your cars together. So, all right, take it easy.